On the next screen, you will be able to select each class from which you wish to group students. Your first step is to determine how you would like to group students. You can group within a class, cross class, or cross grade. Remember that our recommendation is to group cross class. Start with one grade level at a time and then drag all the classes into the pool. At our demo school, we decided on cross class grouping in first grade, so I'm selecting all of our first grade classrooms. You can opt to filter out students whose risk level is above benchmark, benchmark, or not available. Determine if you'd like to filter out students with IEPs or English language learners. Some students with IEPs have other intervention programs that are already specified on their IEP. You can opt to exclude those students from being grouped. Some ELLs might only qualify for a language-based intervention program that focuses on oral language versus a program like M-Class Intervention that focuses on reading skills. You can choose to exclude ELL students from your grouping as well. The burst algorithm includes everyone by default. We can always decide to remove individual students from groups if necessary. Select your preferred group size and remember that we recommend no more than six students per group. Determine the number of groups you will need based on the number of students you will put in M-Class Intervention. To do that, divide your total number of students by 4.5. We recommend no more than six students per burst group. Select the number of groups from the drop-down menu. After you've finished editing your grouping preferences, click Create Groups and let the algorithm do its work over the next minute. The algorithm completes an item level analysis to determine where each student is in the reading skills progression. After the analysis is complete, M-Class Intervention determines which specific skills each student needs to work on and who else is in the same place in the progression. It then forms homogeneous groups based on the grouping preferences you selected. You can see the two skills on which each group will focus by clicking on the banner with skill names on it. This group will focus on letter sounds and blending. By clicking on the banner, you can see where those skills fall on the M-Class Intervention Reading Continuum. Here you see that we have one group focused on phonological awareness and letter sounds. And we have three groups focused on letter sounds and blending. The highest groups, groups 9 and 10, will focus on regular words and irregular words. After creating staff schedules, we will reassign each group to the right instructor. For now, we'll leave them as is and click Save.